Greetings everyone, this is Patrick with Grape Ocean Technologies. Today we will be looking in depth at a portion of the game that will be in the upcoming backer beta, and exploring some of the story and what you can do with the dialogue of Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness. We're going to load into this save file, which takes place in Chapter 1 of the game. Your character has been tasked to investigate the Cult of Zoria. Zoria is the demigoddess of night, and her followers have been causing problems in the countryside, west of Isselbright, the capital city. We've just come into a house in an area called Vintner's Grove. Some dangerous people were seen around here, so we're going to look around. The only notable thing in here is the staircase, so we'll take a look at the basement next. What do you need? Hmm, a trap door. We'll check it out. What would you like? Now we find ourselves in an area called the Underground Caves. I wonder what that sound is. I'll do as you ask. I can take an order as good as I can give them. Oh, these guys look like they're in pretty bad shape. I guess that's where the sound was coming from. So in Black Geyser, we've decided to ensure that every dialogue has a variety of options for the player to choose from. For the video, I'm going to be focusing on polite and curious options, but players will be able to roleplay in several different ways. Occasionally, options will appear that correlate to a quest you're on. This is one such option. So at one point, the Cult of Zoria was a lot more powerful. And they found a fortress. That's a pretty dark story. So Stefan is here doing much the same thing that we are, investigating the Cult of Zoria. They were tracking them down, came into a clearing, and got hit by a trap. Well, it was a poison trap, and that might explain what they look like right now. So they found a note on one of the cultists' bodies, and decided to come to this cave, as mentioned in the note. And when they got here, they found a book of recipes that might have an antidote cure in it as well as some kind of strange stone. But it sounds like they lost it. The book and the stone. Players will need to be careful about selecting greedy dialogue options. While sometimes they can lead to greater rewards or better temporary outcomes, they can also increase the effects of the curse of greed in the world. So let's avoid that option for now. And your wish is... So Stefan says that Otto is down to the southwest, choice. and he might have a book that contains the recipe for the antidote to their poison. You've made the we'll go right search choice. for them now. Because of fog of war, you want to be careful about charging too quickly as good as I give them. into the dark. You've made the right choice. Because anything might be around the corner. Ah, uh, there they are. 
I'll do as you ask. Well, there are definitely more of them than there are me, so I need to be careful here. Yes? Fiala has a spell prepared called Crypt Opening Ghoul. I'm going to cast that to give myself a bit of a tactical advantage. Alright, the ghouls are out. My character actually has both a sword and a bow equipped, but he's better in ranged combat, so I'm going to switch to that. What do you and send need? Helgenhar in Time as well. To pay the tab. And now that Fiala has finished casting her spell, I'm going to send her in too. Prepare to die. <laughs> What do you want? Have a tick. For you. Well, it looks like the ghouls did a pretty good job of soaking up damage. My party is totally undamaged at the moment. I'll do as you ask. And here's Otto. Looks like he's still alive, that's a good thing. Pretty excitable guy. Go back in time? Well, we need to get him to stop talking for a moment. I'm gonna choose the nicest option for that. So like Stefan said, Otto got caught by some bandits. It sounds like they tortured him for a while, and then left with the book and the stone. Let's find out more about that stone, though. Sometimes when your character doesn't know much about a subject, but one of your party members does, an option will appear to ask for their advice. They may provide new information, express an opinion, or even open new paths in the dialogue. Yala is a spell weaver with broad knowledge on magic, so maybe she has heard something about this time travel stone. Not a lot. Alright, so somewhere to the southwest of this area, the bandits took the antidote book and the time stone. We're going to need to go You've retrieve made the them. Right choice. As you wish. The book is definitely more important. But hopefully they have both. You've made the right choice. And hopefully Stefan and his wish. men manage to survive until we get back. What do you need? Yes? What do you want? So now we're back here in Vintner's Grove. I want to make sure I have enough arrows equipped since we're going to be going and potentially fighting some more bandits in a moment. The fire arrows you see here are a simple magic item, and while they don't deal a whole lot of extra damage, they're certainly better than normal arrows. Alright, let's go find those bandits. You've made the right choice. And your wish is... As you can see on our world map, there's a large world to explore. The location on the map that your party is currently at is marked with a circle like this. And if you hover over adjacent areas, you'll see whether they are also visible from your current location. This is an unexplored location that could be where those bandits are hiding. And it is to the southwest, so that's where we'll go next.
Here we are in the Moonstone Clearing. I can take an order as good as I give him. There's a pretty conspicuous guy standing right over choice. here, so I'm gonna go talk to him. Arvex of Ashgarden is one of the companion NPCs that can be recruited to your party in Black Geyser. Here's another example of a dialogue option that has appeared because of the quest we're on. You can also encounter Arvex before starting this quest, in which case the dialogue will go differently. We will mention the quest we're on, but first I'm curious what Arvex means about a choice. Well, that's pretty cryptic. Sounds like he wants to join us. We can find out a little bit about his motivations first, though. Seems he's very focused on death. But that could be good for us, so we'll take him along. We didn't learn a lot about Arvex from that dialogue, what now? so let's take a look at him to see what else he can do. So Arvex is a human Highlander. Highlanders are damage-focused warriors in Black Geyser. We can tell from his stats here that he has significant offensive and defensive capabilities, at least compared to and my character, is? who to be fair is a level lower but is also just not quite as good in combat as Arvex. Again. Arvex is equipped with a chainmail hauberk, as well as a morning star. And being a warrior, he's probably best on the front line, alongside Helgenhar. Alright, let's go look for what those bandits. Do you want? I hear a fire. Uh, I bet these are the guys we're looking for. Bandit, yep. And there's the bandit leader. Alright, let's get closer. As you command. Uh oh. Looks like they burned the book. That's going to be a problem for Stefan and his men. Occasionally in conversation, skill checks can be made. You'll see the option appear, though you won't necessarily know if you are skilled enough to pass the check. Bargaining and persuasion appears here as an option. Avoiding combat may sometimes be a good idea in Black Geyser. Whether your party is running low on health or resources, or you prefer a peaceful solution to a problem. Since this one might allow us to avoid a fight, I'm going to try it to see what happens. Good. It looks like we managed to convince the bandit leader to give us the time stone. Let's take a look at it. Oh, this must be it. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do with it, except for bring it back to auto. Actually, what is this over here? Kind of an interesting structure. I wonder if that's the moonstone that gave the clearing its name. Alright, now we'll right head back choice. to Otto and Stefan. Hopefully they're all still alive. I can take an order as good as I give them. Hopefully they can You've do something the with right the stones. I wish I could give them the book of antidotes though. As you wish. What now? Back down the stairs. What and do you back want? Back into the cave. You've made the right choice.
You've made the right choice. It looks like Otto has rejoined his companions. It's too bad I don't have the antidote recipe for him. Otto is oddly cheerful about not having the book. Oh, so the Time Stone might actually let us go back in time to retrieve antidotes back from when they were still being made. But there could be a problem. Oh, of course there is. Yala again has some insights on magic. Though in this case, she doesn't really seem to know enough to help us. We may just have to decide against using the stone, or trust Otto's judgment. Oh, so... Once we travel back in time, our gear, all of our magical gear anyway, as well as the antidotes if we find them, could be destroyed on the way back to the present. There's a basket over here that he's referencing. I think it's better safe than sorry, so I'm going to throw my gear into that basket before we go. Alright, first I'm going to unequip my magical gear, which I know is my sword, my ring, and my necklace. Oh, and of course my fire arrows. throw them in the basket. Okay, I think that's everything. The only other magical item I have is the time stone, but we're about to use it, so can't throw that in there. As you command. Come back and talk to Otto. All right. Here we go. Hope everything goes all right. Well, it looks like we made it back in time. This is the area of the cave we rescued Otto from earlier. You can see the staircase over here leading down into this portion of the cave. Everything looks a little bit different, though. Otto is acting differently as well. Sounds like the curse was worse than he thought it was. Oh, this sounds like it's gonna end poorly. Oh, it did. Otto is transformed into a lesser Zoria Moon Horror. I guess we're gonna have to kill him now. And your wish is... Make sure I have my bow equipped. Yes. He's awfully close, so I don't have much time to get away from him. That thing hits pretty hard, but not hard enough to stop me. Uh, well, rest in peace, Otto. Since my F key isn't bound to anything important at the moment, I will press it to pay respects. While the quest continues from here, this concludes our story and dialogue update. Stay tuned for the next one.